Salok, by perfect good fortune, man's destiny is awakened and he utters the Lord's name. Nanak says, fruitful is that moment when one obtains the sight of the Lord. The value of that moment cannot be appraised and its bliss is beyond measure. Nanak says, that time alone is approved when my beloved meets me. Pori, tell what time is that when I shall attain the Lord. Auspicious is that moment and destiny when I shall attain the Lord. By meditating on God all the 24 hours, my mind's desires are realized. It is by great good fortune that the company of the holy is obtained. I bow and touch their feet. My mind thirst for the sight of the Lord. Unto him Nanak is a sacrifice. Slok, the Lord is the purifier of the fallen and annuler of all the distresses. The Lord is worthy of giving shelter and Nanak contemplates over the Lord. Discarding egoism altogether, I now cling to the Lord's feet. Nanak says, by beholding the Lord are fled all suffering and maladies. Pori, unite me with thee, my merciful Lord. I have fallen at thy door. Lord, compassionate to the humble, save me. I am exhausted with much wandering. O Lord, it's thy innate nature to love thine devotees. Save the fallen. Without thee, there is no other. O God, I make this supplication to thee. O Lord, take me by hand and ferry me across the world ocean. Slok, the kind Lord is the saviour of saints. Singing praise of the Lord is my only support. By associating with the saints and seeking the Supreme Lord's protection, Nanak says the mortal becomes pure. The burning of the heart is not at all removed by the sandal paste, the moon or the cold season. It is rendered cool, Nanak says, by contemplating Lord's name. Pori, by seeking the shelter of the Lord's lotus feet, all are emancipated. By hearing the glory of the Lord, mind becomes fearless. Nothing at all is left wanting when the wealth of the Lord's name is garnered. The company of the holy person is obtained by the highly meritorious deeds. O man thought Throughout 24 hours, meditate on God and ever hear God's praise. Slok, he who sings the praise of the name, unto him the Lord shows mercy and dispel his distress. When the fortunate Lord Master becomes compassionate, Nanak says, the man no longer is engrossed in the worldly attachment. The burning fire has been quenched and the Lord himself has saved me. Nanak says, contemplate on that Lord who has created the world. Pori, when the Lord becomes gracious, then mammon does not cling to the man. By meditating on the one God, millions of sins are removed.